Hello, my name is Maria and this is Mathy, my mascot. In this lesson we are finding fractional parts using division. You know division and fractions are closely related. In this picture I have 12 flowers and they are divided into three groups. And each group has four flowers. That's all easy, right? So I can write the division 12 divided by 3 equals 4. But I can use a fraction too. I can think of one third part of all flowers, right? Because we have three groups or three parts. I have divided these flowers into three parts, so I can say that one third part of the flowers is four flowers. I'm gonna write here one third of 12, 12 flowers is four or four flowers. So that's a number sentence using a fraction. Now let's look at this picture here. And I want you to try write a division sentence and then a number sentence using a fraction, just like in the previous picture. Now let's look at it. Oh, look at those, Matthew. Oh, yeah, they're so yummy blueberries, he said. A bunch of blueberries, how many are there? Actually, I could use multiplication to find how many there are, right? Because I have three in each group, and there are nine groups. So there's 27 blueberries. To write the division sentence, I start with that total, 27. And they are divided into nine groups here, and there are three in each group. Now you could also write the division 27 divided by 3 equals 9. Okay, you could write that too. But now, for the fractional number sentence, we're going to look at it that there are 9 groups or 9 parts. And so we're going to take one ninth part, one ninth of all of them, of the 27, is just 3. This here is one ninth part of them. This one would be 2. Okay. Now next we have some other types of berries, maybe strawberries. One fifth of ten berries is how many berries? Okay, one fifth part means we need to divide these berries into five groups, five parts. So you could do it this way. Each group has two berries. And one of these groups is one fifth part of the total. So one fifth of ten berries is two berries. Now how about two fifths of the ten berries? How many would that be? One fifth part of all of them is this. And two fifths is double that. I take two parts. That's two fifths of all of them. So that would be four berries. And then similarly, three fifths of all of them would be three groups out of five. So it is six berries. And then four fifths of all of them, or four groups out of five, is eight berries. And I could even go one step further and have here five fifths of ten berries. That would be all of them, all of them ten. So if you are faced with this kind of a problem, one sixth of thirty six is, what would you do? There's a fraction here, one sixth. But you need to think of division, okay? You need to translate it, so to speak, in your mind that this is the same as 36 divided by 6, okay? One sixth part is the same as dividing them into six parts, right? It's division. 36 divided by 6 is 6, so 6 goes here too. Now, two sixths of 36. Now we're taking two groups out of 6. You have first divided 36 into six groups, six in each group. And then you take two of those groups, two sixths. So you take double that. Draw a picture if this is still confusing. It is double six or 12. And then five sixths of 36. Imagine 36 flowers divided into six groups. And you take five of those six groups. There's six in each group, so you go five times six, and this is 30. Three-sevenths of 49 is 
Hör mig. You need to first think about an easier problem, which is one seventh part of 49. One seventh part of 49 is just a plain division problem. 49 divided by 7, right? So this here is 49 divided by 7 equals 7. It's basically the division problem. And now, let's go back here. Since one group is 7, 7 flowers, whatever, then three of those groups will have 3 times 7, or 21. Again, if this is confusing, you need to draw pictures. Over here, we have a loaf of bread. It is cut into 30 slices. Mathy eats four-fifths of them. Almost all of them. Mathy? Oh, he's saying he was hungry. Yeah, okay. I guess. How many slices are left now? He ate almost all of them. Four-fifths of them. So, how would you solve it? There's actually two ways to solve it. One is that we can think of those four-fifths and we can solve four-fifths of 30. But here's an easier way. Since it asks how many slices are left, I can first think of what fraction of those slices are left. If Matthew eats four-fifths of them, then one-fifth of them are left. Let me write that down. Okay. And then one-fifth of 30 slices is the same as 30 divided by 5, right? One-fifth of 30 slices is the same as 30 divided by 5, is 6 slices. The next problem is very similar. Anne gave five-eighths of her 24 dolls to a charity. How many dolls is she keeping? She's giving more than half of them away. Five-eighths of 24 dolls, okay? We could calculate five-eighths of 24 dolls and check how many dolls she's giving away. And then we can subtract to find how many she's keeping. Okay, so five-eighths of 24. And like I said, to solve this, we need to think of a helping problem first. We need to first find one-eighth of 24. One-eighth part of 24 is the same as 24 divided by 8. It's a division problem. So 24 divided by 8 is 3. But 5 eighths is 5 groups out of those 8 groups. If one group is 3, then 5 groups is 5 times 3. 15. So 5 eighths of 24 is 15. That's how many she's giving away. And then 24 minus 15 means she's keeping nine dolls. A cake costs $24 and it's divided into 12 slices or pieces. How much would five pieces cost? I think you can solve this on your own. Try. To help you, you can draw a big circle as a cake, divided into 12 pieces. We know the price of the whole cake. The whole cake is $24. Okay, this whole cake is $24 and it is divided into 12 pieces. Here it is into fourths. And then you can divide it further. The obvious thing we need to do is how much does one slice cost? 24 for the whole thing, and there are 12 pieces, so 24 divided by 12, one slice is $2, right? Now, of course, five pieces, five slices, it's easy to calculate, it is five times $2, so let me write it here, five slices, $10, five times $2, okay, did you get the same? I hope so. We're all done with this lesson.